All right, we got a game. Let's go. And by the way, did I mention this is off bridge? We're taking the elevator to the top. Look at these levels right here. Very beautiful. My gate won't open. Hello? Someone please? Please open the gate. I need to get... Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah. Alright, there we are. And you can see it fits right into the, the UI. It's beautiful. Hello everybody, Greg from Jimmy Joom Corporation. As you can see, there's lots of changes going on around here. All of them very, very strange, but that's not what I'm here to talk to you about today. I'm here to talk about Arc Raiders. Okay, there we go. I can't stop playing Arc Raiders. I made a webcam uh, rotator that loops through and shows the latest follow, latest subs, and lo latest donations. Get out of my shot. Sorry about that. And latest donations. Simulate a follow. You get the little Arc Raiders animation. You get one of the colors. And there we go. Donna, thank you for following. All right, let's do an eight-month sub. Karina, thank you for the eight months. Unfortunately, it was fake. Pretty straightforward. Pretty simple stuff. It's a webcam. It's a rotator. Now... There's one thing I want to show you that I'm in love with. By the way, this is all free. Forgot to say that at the at the beginning. But I want to show you this. To do it, I need to take you to Speranza. That's not Speranza. Okay, so here we are in our graders. I'm about to go topside. Let's uh Let me show you what I made. We gotta take an elevator to the top. All right, we're waiting on a game. All right, we got a game. Let's go. And by the way, did I mention this is all free? We're taking the elevator to the top. Look at these levels right here. Very beautiful. My gate won't open. Hello? Someone please? Please open the gate. I need to get... Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah. Alright, there we are. And you can see it fits right into the, the UI. It's beautiful. Just a gentle reminder to keep an eye out for those salvage sites for TN1. It may be just what we need to get... Goes into my... Uh, goes in when I go into my loot. It brings that up. And also, when I go into my map, we get a little Kermit looking for the frog. That's not included. That's I just, just little things I wanted to show you. But here we go. I'm on a free loadout. Let's, uh... Oh, no. Did they see me? They saw me. Oh, no, they didn't. Did he? Is he looking at me? Oh, yeah. He's... Uh. Nah, 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 nah. Come on. Hey! Oh, shoot. Me too. Come on. Come on. All right, we made it. We're going back, taking the elevator back. You can see why I love this game. Okay, we're going to the Nick Holes level and then to the Big Montana level. Two of my favorite levels in the world. door opens and we're back okay so you just saw the final product 
And um, it's very complex. It's a lot of streamer bot and it's a lot of OBS studio, a lot of move transition. The, mo the most difficult thing that I'm trying to figure out is how do I get it to you? So I made it on my computer and it's all, everything's all good. The question is, the tough part is how do I get it to you? And I'm not, it, it can't be a tutorial because look at this. So these are just move transitions. These are all the move transitions for the elevator scene and to make it like, to make it look like the, the screen is moving up levels. There's a lot going on in there. This is the streamer bot. So these are the actions, the sub actions that and then this one is for the return. It's uh, it's all, it's playing, um, sound effects. It's doing all kinds of stuff. Like, even if I made a tutorial about it, I, it would be a nightmare. What I'm, what I really want to test is how can I get it to you as easy as possible? First of all, you're going to go to jimmyjoom.com. You're going to click on freebies. Where's the free, down here. It's not here right now. I'll put it up right when I'm done. So there'll be a, uh, art graders thing here. You click on it, you download it, and you're going to get a zip file. Going to get this zip file here called arcraderscene.zip. Now, you have to unzip it to the right folder. So I'm going to go, I'm going to right click and do open with, go to Windows Explorer. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to do extract all. Now, this is the important part. You have to extract it into C users, public, public documents. So you're going to extract all into that. Now I'm saying I already got it there, so I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to overwrite it, but you will extract it right there. That will bring up this in your documents folder. There will be this arc Raiders scene. Okay. So in the folder, you're going to have an audio. That's all the sound effects. You're going to have media. That's the videos. And you can change the images too if you want. Um, but yeah, that's the videos of the gate, the elevator shutting and closing. This is a JSON file. That is for OBS. We're going to import the scenes and the sources and all the filters on them through OBS. That's the JSON. And this .jj, the actions.jj, this is for StreamerBot. These are the actions. This is to import all the actions into StreamerBot that connect to OBS, the arc rate, the JSON. Let me show you in OBS how we do that. Okay, so we're in OBS Studio. We're gonna go to Scene Collection. We're gonna go to Import. And then we're gonna come here, click on that little three dots. We're gonna go to that place, the, user, the public users, public, public documents arc raiders scene and we're going to click on that json file import now so this is the third time i've done it the scene collection is going to give you the arc webcam scene you're going to have this with all the uh videos um this doesn't look to be working right now i think it's because i have two obs's open i'm kind of losing my mind trying to show obs and use obs at the same time so it works i promise but so that's that so it's going to just be the big webcam then the arc raiders speranza scene so this has the levels all set one issue i am uh anticipating so i have my game as um what is that display capture so maybe if you use window capture like let's say you do a different method um, I wonder how that's going to work. I'm going to say whatever you do, just name it game, name it like that, name it game in all caps, because that's what, uh, that's what the triggers are on. So I hope if you switch it and name it game like that, it'll s slip right in. I don't know. This is all very complex. Uh, I'm hoping I can get this to people. This is kind of a test. We'll see what's going on. So we got the scenes. In OBS. Now, in StreamerBot, gonna come up to import. Click on import. Gonna go back to that zip file. We're gonna come in here, drag 
the actions.jj into the import. And it's going to give us all this information. It's going to give us all these actions and then the sub actions and the triggers. And you're going to click import. I'm not going to do it because I did it again. I overrode them already. I'm not going to do it again. So you click import. And then it, I think it's going to ask you if you want to clear your import. You can say, okay. And that will give you these, uh, these actions right here. And I use mine, I have a like a MIDI keyboard, so I have mine set up with MIDI. You probably don't, maybe you do, I don't know. But there's also control numpad. Okay, so now I'm in the uh, Speranza scene, the scene that has everything on it. And uh, you can see, so this first action is control numpad 6. And I'm going to hit that, control numpad 6. And... You see that brings up, it brings on the elevator and it starts this loop. Also, it starts this background noise. You can hear kind of like a, all right, so that's the first trigger. So you can press that and then you can yap, yap, yap. And then the second trigger is the big one. The second trigger will shut the door, do the animation, bring it up. And I'll show you that one that is Control numpad five. All right, so I'm gonna hit control numpad five. All right, hear the noise. You know, there's a thing going on with my microphone. I added that myself. There's, I can't do this move. I have some VSTs on the microphone. I feel like that was, that was a bit too much. It is possible to do if you want. You can hear the voice is all messed up. Okay, so that's how it sits. So that is the end of control or uh, action two. Action three is just to open the gate and uh, kind of finish the animation. So here we go, I'm gonna hit it now. That opens the gate, that takes it away, and hope hopefully you're in the game now and you're into the UI and it looks looks like you're part of the UI. So that is control three and then control four, it's just, it returns all of them. It does it all in one go basically. It's to get back to the top right corner. So I'll hit that and that is control, control one. So I'm gonna hit control one and then you'll see how it's There you have it. So there were two things. There was the uh, the webcam overlay and then the weird elevator scene. You can just get the uh, the webcam overlay if you want. You don't have to do all this, obviously. Um, but yeah, I I'm interested to see if I can make these types of scenes, these weird uh, sort of inner, very interactive scenes and then easily get them to you guys. That would be, that's what I want to see with this. If I can, I'll be very, very happy. Uh, that's the reason I stick to stream elements is because it's one click install. I give you a link, it opens, you do the, the browser source. Uh, it's as easy as it can get. And I still, some people still struggle with that. So I'm imagining a lot of problems with this, but give it a go. Let me know if it works. I, I comment down below if you have trouble, if you if there's a hiccup everyone's having, I'll fix it. I'll make an update, all that. I really want this to work. I want to be able to, to make a scene and give it to people easily. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I got to get back to work. We got a new boss. We got a new CEO. We moved into a new building here at Jimmy Joom Corporation. There's a lot of nonsense coming up soon. Thank you.